Hello Internet, my name is Saturn and The Flash is probably one of the coolest heroes ever. I've always loved the idea behind some of his abilities, literally just stemming off of the fact that he's reaching unimaginable speeds. And it's with great pleasure that I found an origin that truly lets you not only play as The Flash, but you actually feel like him. As you can probably already tell, this origin is extremely overpowered, but my god is it satisfying to play around with. This origin was created by the Discord user Waffle, and the link to his channel will be below, as well as in one of the cards that should be popping up right about now, and it's for Minecraft version 1.16.5. If you would like to download this origin for yourself, the link to the origins Discord will be in the description below, where you can join and search for the post in the Datapacks channel for the download, and without wasting too much time, let's get right into the abilities. For your first and most obvious passive ability, Speed Force. You access the Speed Force so you are really fast, and well, it's as simple as that really. This is probably one of the fastest origins I've ever tested, but I do think it's not too fast to which you can't control yourself when you're running around. You do still have accuracy with your movement, and that's pretty appreciated that they didn't take it too far. Another thing to note is that this origin seems to change the way you view the world because I had my FOV at 85, which is normal for me, but when testing it looked like I had it cranked up to Quake Pro and I had to turn it out a bit, but that's just something to note. And pairing that up with your next passive ability, Strong Ankles, you're able to jump higher when jumping while sprinting, and this is pretty much just jump boost. I'm not entirely sure what level it is, but it is quite nice and it helps with navigating the terrain as you dash around at Mach 3. And next up, we have our first primary ability, Atom Vibrate. Due to your immense speed, you can vibrate your atoms so fast that you can face through solid blocks by pressing your primary key, but you can only do so for a limited amount of time as indicated by the draining white bar just above my hunger. And something I've noticed is that while phasing through the world, you can actually see caves for quite a long distance, allowing you to pretty much snipe diamonds that you otherwise wouldn't see with other origins that can phase. It's really nice and it's quite a while before you actually need to recharge. Love the description for this power and it actually fits really well for the flash. For our third passive ability, Water Walk, you run so fast that you become less dense than the water which causes you to move across it rather than sink into it, and this just gives you the ability to run across water as the ability does state, but it is a little quirky because you can't enter water normally. As you see in this clip, I'm running across the water just fine, but even if I stand still, I don't just immediately sink into the water. I'm able to stay on top of the water even with my movement being completely stopped, and you cannot enter water normally. as much as you you try, you can jump around and try and do whatever you want, but you cannot enter water normally. The only way that I've actually found to enter the water without like, um, um, well, playing as this origin is you have to go into your phasing ability and then that gives you the ability to go into the water and then you can go in and do whatever you want. But other than that, you can only stand on water. So just keep that in mind. And with that, we are now on to the secondary active ability, Time Stop. You can stop time, making all the mobs in a radius freeze for 20 seconds with the secondary key, but it does have a 30 second cooldown after use. And yeah, these foxes are frozen in time, giving them slowness 5 or something like that, and all they can do is look at me. I decided to use foxes because they usually run away from the player quite fast, so I felt it would be best to test it against them, although I do feel a little bad. These poor little buggers. For our first passive ability, we have Flash Fist. You punch really fast with your fist, causing you to do more damage with your bare hands. This ability here is honestly just broken, but in a good way, your attack speed is so incredibly fast that sometimes it just randomly triggers a critical without you really needing to jump at all. And no, it's not pre 1.9 Minecraft speeds, and the cooldown does still apply here, but it's pretty much cut in half, making axes the best weapon in the game due to the fact that they perform like swords now with the rate in which you can attack with them while keeping the added damage that acts as a deal. So you can see here I'm just swiping away and I'm pretty much attacking at the same rate you would with a sword if you were a human. Um, with a sword you attack even faster than you would with an axe so maybe axes aren't the best with that in mind but their attack speed pretty much is like the base sword attack speed from what I can tell so you can do an insane amount of damage with these and yeah I also do like the fact that the ability when you go down to swing your axe or actually like punch or do anything the animation isn't fully there like it goes by a lot faster and I think that's just a brilliant touch by Waffle to add that in there because it really does make you feel fast because you don't even do the full animation the animation isn't 100% there 
it's just a lot faster. It's subtle, but it's a very nice touch. And for our fifth passive ability, we have Fast Arms. Your Fast Arms allow you to break things faster, and yeah, this one is very OP. Even with a fist, I'm just chewing straight through wood and stone and pretty much anything. This does stack with tools, by the way. Even basic ones, it breaks them so, so incredibly fast. So something like a stone pickaxe can mine through stone really, really quickly, about the rate, I think, of like a diamond pickaxe. So yeah, that's what makes it so incredibly overpowered. Dirt in literally everything you try to mine will just get done so quick and this is about the speed that you can expect to break stone with. After that you should be seeing the clip where I am now breaking things with just a regular diamond pickaxe and this is the speed that you can expect from that. And now we have the efficiency 5 diamond pickaxe and that just ends the mine blocks obliterates them. Um, I won't test the netherite one simply because after uh, the game can't physically go beyond insta mining so there's no point but yeah you get to insta mine and this does include ores so you can insta mine coal and pretty much anything else uh, normally even with haste 2 um, and like all that stacked up you can't insta mine ores but with this as the flash you definitely can so that's a really nice added touch and this uh, lack of an animation thing does also apply here so you get way less of an animation which just makes you feel like you're moving so fast that it looks like you're standing still kind of thing and again I, I just love that so much and here you can see me breaking obsidian and the obsidian breaks really fast even with like an efficiency 5 diamond pickaxe I'm sure if you use an efficiency 5 netherite pickaxe you would break it just a bit faster but it's probably negligible but yeah it's pretty insane and very overpowered and here we have our sixth passive ability, Cell Regeneration. Your cells can heal wounds extremely fast. And here I am getting shot with not too many issues. Occasionally I will need to dodge just to make sure that I can regain health, but it's pretty much just Regeneration 3, and again, it's extremely overpowered. Um, for balancing, I think this should be adjusted to Regeneration 2 or Regeneration 1, just to make things a bit more fair, because with Regeneration 3, most types of damages, most type of damage that doesn't immediately kill you is negligible. And on to our seventh, yes, seventh passive ability. We have Looter's Instinct. Your pickup range is doubled. Pretty self-explanatory, so let's move on. And here we have our eighth and final passive ability, Strong Immune System. Your insanely fast immune system makes you immune to certain negative effects, which includes... Slowness. Mining Fatigue, Nausea, and Poison. It's a pretty understandable ability and I understand why you would want to include this with something like the Flash as it is pretty fitting, but it's the 8th passive ability and I think it should be removed simply because it just adds to your overall omnipotence as the Flash. This origin is extremely overpowered and this only adds to that. And with that, we have finally covered all the passive abilities, and here goes the first con, and that is claustrophobia. Being somewhere with a low ceiling for too long will weaken you and make you slower, and this does exactly as described. And on to our second con, we have need for mobility. You cannot wear any heavy armor, and that includes values higher than chainmail, and you see this quite often with other origins, and it's a nice attempt at balancing. As you can see, I can't put on this uh, iron chest plate, so I can only wear up to chainmail armor. Here's one that's a bit surprising, Hydrophobia. You take damage over time while in contact with water. And yeah, even when running on top of it, you still take damage over time, although you do regain faster than you lose. It's mostly just annoying to deal with and it's nothing too bad. And yes, this does indeed apply to rain. On to our next con, which is Slice. You take more damage from swords and here's what it looks like to get hit from a Wither Skeleton with no armor at all. You are a three hit. Moving right along to light, you take more knockback than others, and as you can see, I do get hit backwards quite a bit, and we can go ahead and pair this up with not used to it. You're not used to being attacked by arrows, so you take more damage from them. Not much else to say here, other than you need to be careful with skeletons and pillagers. 
And finally, we have Unhandled. You don't have the precision to use ranged weapons or shields, and that mostly speaks for itself. I'm trying to use this crossbow here, and it's not doing anything despite me having an arrow. Same with the crossbow. Although, it is one thing you should note that you actually can throw a trident still, since trident is classified as a melee weapon. Even if you put loyalty 3 on it, you can still use it. And that pretty much wraps up today's origin. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. And again, it was created by Waffle, who gave me permission to do this review. So thank you, thank you so very much for that. Please, please, please go subscribe to them. They did such an amazing job with this origin and had a great display of creativity and attention to detail. Despite the origin being a little overpowered, well, not a little, quite a bit overpowered, it is still very fun to play as. And just one note if you already noticed you do have like a little bit of a blue hue to you while you're playing as this origin even though it wasn't really brought up in the description for it oh hey you're still here at the very end of the video thank you so much for watching and thank you for the unimaginable amount of support that i've been given just two days ago i hit 100 subscribers and now i'm at 100 i mean 251 and i can't even put into words how insane that is to me and i have you all to thank for it that'll be all for me today though again my name is saturn and i will catch you all in the next video see ya